two wingers who actually, I think a couple of years ago, showed their best form in the Premier League. We've not quite seen it from either of them. Kulusevski or Martinelli, who's the better player? <laughs> it's changed, hasn't it? It's changed. It's changed what happened to the other word that you were comparing them to? Wait, wait, wait. wait. We didn't, can we, we, didn't, can we, we didn't, stick to the question at hand, please? We didn't, to, we didn't put forward the question at hand. We didn't put forward the question. I didn't make them up. So what, are you still comparing Kula to Saka? Just I out mean, of curiosity. Uh, what was Kula saying? He was meant to be better than Saka. Right now, he's Sweden's captain. I rated him, and now it's Sweden's captain. Sweden's captain, Hey, listen. Your career is Zach's who's leading them. And Zinni's Ukraine's captain, I think. Who cares, man? Ukraine, Come on. Sweden, bro. You're bringing Sweden Is he your boy that you call him Zinni? Nah, bro, but you want to say, come on, man. It shortens the syllables, bro. Zinni, you know. waste on three syllables. Interesting, when I look at the two types of players, they're different wingers. Mm. I think Gabriel Martinelli is obviously a more direct getting behind, but if you're talking in terms of who's a better footballer, I look at Kulusevski, I think it's technical 100%. ability, the close control, the chance creation that he's able to do. It's almost like he's a midfielder playing out wide sometimes, you know what I mean? I think the issue that's happened with him, I think similarly with Martinelli, is consistency. But if you're talking in terms of quality, I look at the two and I'm like, Kulusevski for me is the better footballer at the end of the day. Mm. Martinelli's had purple patches where you think, you know, this is a real goal getter. But I think over the past year, 18 months, it's really kind of leveled out and kind of sold back to default settings. I'll say, say this. I'll say this for me. I actually think, I actually think I agree with you. I think Kulisevsky is the better like footballer if I'm looking at just the technical technical quality. But I will say Martinelli, I think he's a better finisher than Kulisevsky. I think mm. in front of goal, I back him to score more so than I would back Kulisevsky. And I think Martinelli is more naturally suited to the wing than Kulisevsky. I've be honest, I've been watching Kulisevsky and I've not I've not been happy with what I've been seeing on the wings. I don't think he's a winger. Not in the way we play, but the job that he can do in the midfield, I think he can do that to a better standard than what Martinelli's serving up right now on the flanks. Yeah, fair enough. No, Kulisevsky's cuter on the ball, as you know, in terms of the soft touches, Aesthetics. he looks... Yeah, the aesthetically, yeah. He, he looks more pleasing. But if we take the last 12 months, productivity-wise, you know, they've both been poor. But Martinelli's all round game for me is work rate, working back. I think Kulu has that as order. Well, yeah, but Martinelli's different. No, no I actually, Kulu's I actually Martinelli's think it's different. And Martinelli, no, 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 trust I me. Think I think that's work rate from Kulusevski is actually that's very the thing. Yeah, I think like, he's, in terms of setting the press, setting the tone physically, yeah, we're not just I think he's one of the ones. Martinelli. We're talking going to cover the left back area, yeah, coming into midfield. When Poro's floating, Kulusevski. he's the one covering. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, it's not like Martinelli, though, bro. It's not like Martinelli. No, it is. Kulusevski is literally like an energizer bunny, bro. He does not stop. That's yeah, why he. Get, that's why he was getting picked. That's why he was getting picked. No matter what, last season, even when no, we he's spent getting picked because of his technical ability. Yeah, or, and or, or, furthermore, who else could you really play? I mean, the manager brought in a forty-eight million pound winger, and he wasn't starting ahead of Kulusevski. So I, I think, look, yeah, you're right. He's a more technical player, but in terms of being a threat and behind and the speed, and you know that type of uh, that type of transitional threat, I think Martinelli's much much more better. Of course, and I also feel like we've not seen the best of Martinelli because I think he's better centrally. And we've seen him out wide so far. So when he gets platform more and more, but let's not forget what 15 league goals in the year that he was platform with Jacques and Zinni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's a good seen best, so when you give him that platform again, and he's proven it at that standard there, that was what one goal off the highest Brazilian scoring season ever in Premier League history. Do you know no, what I mean? no. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, behind did, did he beat it? Behind Firmino. I think yeah, it's one behind one behind Firmino. And I was at what 21 years of age. So they're both good players. There's no loss here, right? Mm. But I think in terms of profiles, they're very diff different. So it depends. Yeah. What do you want in your team? A guy exactly. that wants pace? Because we, I wouldn't take Kulusevski Arsenal because we've got Saka. So they're more technical on that side. Mm. I actually think it's close to the Odegaard in, in terms of like that type of player. He's more not like a pacey wide forward, more yeah. like an interior. If, if, and he plays more like eight in my opinion. But Martinelli, me, yeah, as a pace, as a winger, I think he's better. If he's exactly. he moved into the 10 a exactly. lot of the time. Yeah, that kind of yeah. in if, midfield threes 100%. for us. If you're asking yeah. me who do I want on the, on the wings, it's not even a contest. It's Martinelli every day of the week. If you're asking me which player right now probably offers more to the team, I would say Kulisewski probably yeah. offers more to the team. I think it's fair to say though that both sets of fans would like a little bit more from both those players. Absolutely, yeah, just, absolutely. So, uh, there we are. Just, but they're both fringe players at this point in time, mm. which is a far cry from what they yeah. were. Yeah, mm. where they, mm. they, yeah. they felt crucial mm. a couple yeah. of years ago. Let's go on to the next one.